So this guest bedroom is going to be, let me close this door, it's going to be my mommy cave. Um, it used to be my mommy cave before I had my son, JB, but things got busy. He's now six years old. I have anxiety from time to time and I need a place for myself to where I can come back here, lock the door, relax. Even if I need to, if I want to come back here and work, even though I have my own office, my husband gets up at 10 30 excuse me 10 between 10 and 11 when i'm really working and he works out right next to me and it's very disturbing so i need to have a place where i can actually close the door and sometimes work if i need to be i'll still have my office um in the actual office but this will be a second escape so this is what the room looks like now and the theme I'm going for is shabby chic because of the pictures you see here on the wall. Um, I purchased these pictures from Michaels a long time ago. I purchased this from the Goodwill. And so this is what I'm gonna do, you guys. I already ordered a gray desk and a stool from Wayfair. The gray desk, um, the stool, excuse me, is brown. So what I'm gonna do is spray paint that white. I'm gonna show you a bookcase I already have and I'm also gonna spray paint white. I'm thinking about spray painting this yellow and distressing it but the yellow is like a bright yellow a really bright yellow so i need to see what the bedding is looking like because i also ordered some new bedding which is mostly yellow and white um so yeah shabby chic let me show you some things i already purchased um and some things i already had i believe in really reusing what you already have okay refurbishing so i have all these cute little decorations that can go on the bookcase and my camera stuff will have to be here um, because I am going to be taking a break. I'm in the middle of a break. I'm recording this while I'm on break. So all my camera stuff is going to go back here when I'm not recording. So here is a bookcase I've had for a couple of years. And I'm actually using this now for storage for my planning stuff mm -hmm. and <laughs> just some other things. <laughs> all right. So I got this out of my closet this was just hanging up once you can change your life cinderella one of my good friends gave me one of gave me this um once for christmas sweet sweetheart let me show y'all what i bought at the dollar tree isn't this cute since it's springtime they have a lot of spring decor available so i think this is adorable 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 um i also bought this little well, i guess what you call it you can hang it up or put it up like this I'm gonna see if I can hang it up yeah I can I should be able to so yeah um and then I found these cute little photo frames that already have this distressed look then I have these two glass jars that I also got from the Dollar Tree one of them I'm gonna use for pins and the other one I'm going to use for um washi tape and this is just little cute stuff that I gathered that was on my dresser and my closet. Again, I'm gonna have a gray desk right here and I'm gonna put my makeup on top of the desk and then I'm gonna use the bookshelf that's gonna be here. Again, that's gonna be white. The bookshelf is gonna be for my plant and stuff. All right, you guys, so here are those two um, glass jars that I got from the Dollar Tree and all I did was put a little bit of, um, what do you call this stuff, decorative, tape or decorative ribbon i'm sorry that i got from the dollar tree also um hot glued that around and i look i had most of the stuff i already had here you guys from again for my wedding and just stuff i had around and just hot glued a flower here i'll take the tags off the bottom the um i put this is my bouquet my wedding bouquet isn't this beautiful i had this custom made through a shop on um a woman on etsy very very beautiful um and so i think that this matches my theme better than uh, my girlfriend's bouquet that she made for me and i put that in our room and this is just in a silver uh vase i took the vase that, that my girlfriend's bouquet was in and I put just some random flowers in there um so yeah that's what we have so far that besides the picture frames I am done all right you guys I wanted to show you the bedding that I got from Wayfair this is a quilt um I'm going to start switching out I have about I don't know um it's really hard to keep track of the bedding so i have two sets of bedding this will be number three and then i have three sets of bedding for my my master including that right there jb has two but i don't want to buy anything else big um because we're having some things done around the house but this is what the 
bedding looks like and it's quilt let me get to the point it's quilt so it's not your big size comforter especially with the summertime i think a quilt would do just fine aren't these pretty very very pretty this is very very pretty and this matches i have a good eye now i have a good eye this right here matches the picture so you see where i'm going the desk is gray um i'm going to spray paint the stool this type of yellow and i'm going to do a gray antique style for the actual um book. all right y'all so my husband helped me out quite a bit and i have some energy it's midday so we're gonna get started on my sh -sh -sh she room yeah <laughs> So this, I'm going to give JB this stool since I have this chair. I'm going to go ahead and see if I'm going to paint yeah, this. Compromise. I'm going to go ahead and paint this chair like a white color and do a weathered gray stain. Maybe. I want to see what the weathered gray stain looks on this bookcase. And this is the All right. So this is the chair and bookcase stained complete. No sanding was required. One layer. And I got it from um, Walmart. It's called weathered gray. Right, you guys i am done i am done with my mommy k my she room my leave me the hell alone for an hour or two room look this has been a work in progress since february i wanted to wait or i had to wait until we finish painting our house which we did three days ago it's been an ordeal putting everything up but one of the first rooms i wanted to ensure that i get done actually this is close to the last room but i got started putting stuff up in this room um so just gonna go through real quick over here I have all of my hair products um, just stuff that I have to review coming up and just where I store all my stuff in general down here is a basket of foolery basically it's a basket of um, what is this uh, materials felt I'm crafty so sometimes I may grab something and make something real quick typically for my son this picture is always this her sister pictures over here I purchased those two from Michaels a couple of years ago for $20 both of them to get their $20 my neighbor gave me this picture I saw it I wanted it <laughs> it was in one of her guest bedrooms um and I said oh that's gonna be good with my shabby sheep um, thing girl so she's like you want it I said yes so it was mine <laughs> this quilt I purchased this quilt along with the pillowcases from Wayfair very affordable I had that gray pillow already this butterfly pillow I got on Ross on sale for like five bucks and some change over here we have um, some furniture just real quick this bookcase I purchased from um, Goodwill a while back almost about four no yeah four years ago Three and a half years ago, almost four years, it was like five bucks. I originally painted it brown, but um, I bought some, wet, it's called Weathered Gray Stain. This is actually stained, okay, to give it an antique look. Along with the chair, the chair was free, you guys. Um, they were giving away um, furniture at my son's school. I was like, oh, that'll be good. So it was originally brown, which you saw in the previous clips, and I stained this also. But look how great it goes with this sorry look how great it goes with this desk the desk i got from wayfair and i think it pairs all of this pair really well together i didn't really do that on purpose because i literally changed my mind at the last minute um this just happened to work out this way i originally had a stool in here literally like three days ago i changed my mind i had a stool which i was going to paint white but i figured hey this will do better since it also has a back and yeah i think it all well works well together um this little chair i got from michael's for like four dollars they have a spring sale on my nail polishes nail polishes excuse me um just a little bit of ornaments and stuff i got this from the goodwill a while back this is all my makeup that i really need to organize and get together some decoration <coughs> i got from michaels this was this plaque was a gift it says once you can change your life um and then on this bookcase i have my planning stuff um these are all my stickers really just thrown in there i need to organize it a little bit better my craft scissors pens and pencils um and then down here i have my stickers this is actually an old cigarette holder i think but i'm going to be using this to store um paper clips and just odds and ends and again i'm not going to really get into this it's all my planning accessories and stuff um and just some little cute things i have up here just to make it very feminine looking and um 
kept the TV here just in case I want to watch TV and I have this uh, clock I got from the Goodwill a while back so yeah that is it oh over here I have you have to excuse this part of my filming stuff I will also be storing my um, stuff I have for my videos back here too when I'm not using it this is the best part of the room you see that right there a lock girl a lock to <laughs> close the door lock it best part of this room okay i got this little thing from the dollar tree so yeah i will be using this as my planning room um to do my makeup to even come back here if i need some peace and quiet to work real quick i can bring my laptop back here and work just i love it you know if i want to just lay up here turn on the tv watch some tv you know what I mean? My husband put in um, just today, we made sure that these back windows were tinted because it's typically very warm back here. So we had that tinted today. And it's so funny when he was done, the guy yelled, your she room is done. I was like, yes, let me start putting my stuff up in here. So yeah, I'm very excited. I like the way. Are you guys, um, I thought I owed it to y'all to come back and give you a little bit more detail on the she room girl. I used my she room for the first time yesterday. Um, and it was fabulous. It was wonderful. I was able to do my makeup with no interruptions. I was able to listen to my ghetto trap music without people, you know, judging me. So yes, um, <laughs> a couple of things are different. Um, I did end up using one of these jars to hold my makeup brushes because I thought that would be cute. Um, so I was just going to give you all a little bit of detail on some of the things I have here. The things that I purchased. I purchased this cup at... Hobby Lobby is 50% off Hobby Lobby. I think that's cute. It says all you need is love and lipstick. Yes, some of this other stuff I already had. This right here I got on. Look, this is a great time to get decorations because we're ending spring. So when I saw anything that will match the decor in here, I bought it. This was literally like a dollar from Fry's. I thought it could be great to hold my, um, just anything really, but this is what it's holding for now. Um, Little knickknacks here. These two things, if you watch my vlog, my previous vlog, I purchased these from Michaels. Again, it's spring decor. This stuff was 60% off. Yes, my planning stuff. Those of you who know have been following me for a while. Eventually, I want to organize this planning stuff a little bit better. I do see myself getting crazier with the planning. Um, I started using planning accessories and all this a while back. It does help me to keep on track, but I don't want to get sucked in to all this, all the accessories and not really plan. But as I stated earlier, this would be for me to plan um, an area to do my makeup to get away from you better not yeah. shut the door and lock the door. That's the whole point. Uh, yeah, y'all. So my husband is confused. My child is sad and mad. He corrected me and told me he's also mad. But I'm happy. And that's all that matters. So anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is give you an idea, I say every woman should have this. Whether you're single, married, kids, no kids, you need to have an area where you can relax. Maybe you already have an area. I wanted to have a planning slash workroom slash leave me alone room. <laughs> basically a wow. space for myself. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, take care. Bye.